Hey, Dr. Brandy here. Uh, you know, I'm just infatuated with the health story around cardiovascular micronutrients. And um, what I've recently learned is that, you know, traditionally we look at cholesterol and HDL and LDL, HDL being the good guys, bad um, LDL being the bad guys. And we, and we look at those values and assess cardiovascular risk, risk for heart disease. And what studies have found is it's not actually so much the cholesterol that's the problem, it's more the carriers of the cholesterol that create cardiovascular disease and placking and things like that. So when you look at cholesterol, HDL, and LDL, you don't actually get to evaluate the, the particles that carry those, those cholesterols. And since the cholesterol is the problem, we gotta really look at that part of the system as well to, to accurately assess cardiovascular risk. So you essentially have three types of particles uh, that carry cholesterol. And so you can think of them as small, medium, and large. And the, you know, the small ones could be uh, akin to golf balls, and then the medium ones, baseballs, and then the large ones, basketballs, let's say. And so you could have these carrier proteins that don't even have any cholesterol on them, just bouncing around in your vascular system. Well, if you have a bunch of basketballs bouncing around, then it's not such a problem. But if you've got a bunch of golf balls bouncing around, they're gonna uh, cause um, micro trauma to the vascular system. This is when plaquening and hardening of the arteries happens. This increases cardiac, cardiac risk, right? So it's essential to evaluate what kind of particles you actually have in your system. So about 30% of the population has high, um, high, high amount of the small particles of golf balls floating around with a normal level of cholesterol. So you can actually take your blood and check your cholesterol and you might think that you're doing just fine because your cholesterol is normal, but your lipoproteins are still all over the place and causing more harm than it's even assessed in, an, in a traditional blood test or lipid panel. So I have um, partnered with a company called SpectraCell and we're doing some advanced technology to really assess what's going on in the vascular system and what kind of particles is, is bouncing around. And it, it really evaluates who really is at risk of heart attack or heart disease before it becomes a problem. And this is the easiest time to treat it. And when we combine that with a micronutrient test, we can see what micronutrients are deficient or unavailable for the body, and that is what's leading to this imbalance in the, in the lipoproteins or the small particles in, in the vascular system. So it can even show us if there's a genetic predisposition to this kind of thing and exactly what nutrients need to be taken so that your body can come back into balance and these small particles will quit harming your vascular system. So it's just this really exciting time, the technology that's um, happening now in the, in the world of labs and the field of medicine is just extraordinary. And I'm so excited to be a part of this um, evolution and to be able to share this with you and my patients and the people who are really looking to take their life and their health to the next level. I'm all about optimizing our lives. And so anything that I can do to tweak myself to get myself to that next level is where I'm always going to step to. So uh, if you want to join me, <laughs> come on along. It is my pleasure. Uh, I'm actually hosting a blood draw day. Uh, you may have heard it on my previous videos, uh, blood draw day on April 2nd, which is a Tuesday. This is in my office. If you can't make it to my office, reach out to me. We'll, we'll work something out. But I'm doing this because I am um, trying to get these labs at a lower cost, or I am getting these labs at a lower cost for my patients. So um, if you're interested in learning more, reach out to me, private message me. I'm happy to have a chat with you about how this might be able to help you and or your families. And uh, just know I'm here for you. If you've had these kinds of tests before, please write below and um, let me know. How did it go? What did you learn? What did you do to mitigate it? And uh, how are you doing now? Like what improvements have you seen? So um, these are not things that you're going to feel in your body. You don't feel a symptom when you have high cholesterol or have high small particles bouncing around. You just don't. You show up one day and you have a panic attack and you go to the doctor and they do a scan of your vascular system and your, your arteries are clogged 95% and then they're wanting to do surgery. Like it happens like that. Or you get chest pain and you have a heart attack or a stroke and you fall over dead and that's, that's that. Like you have to do your labs and pre 
evaluate what's going on as you move through your life so that you can prevent these kinds of things from happening and not leave your family in a lurch. All right, my grandmother had a stroke, and it's not the greatest thing for the family, and um, bless her heart, and bless yours.